My name is Asia Sampson and today on Baptism Overland we're going to do a quick interior look at the Jeep. So here I am camping with some friends for just one night. Uh, one of us owns land in an undisclosed location, so I won't be mentioning where exactly we are. And we decided, yeah, you know what? What a good way to spend the weekend. Plus the weather is really, really nice. So while I'm here, I decided, you know what? Let me take you through a tour of the interior of the Jeep because I think it's done. I think I'm done. I think there's nothing else I need to do to the inside of this thing. And I figured I'd just show you guys all the upgrades that I've done because it is exactly how I've always envisioned it and it's perfect now. All right, starting off on the driver's side, there's that vector off-road dock that you saw me install about a couple of weeks ago. And thanks to the sponsorship from 67 Designs, they were able to outfit me with all of the 67 Design goodness. Right here, I got the Magmount G3. Allows me to just plop my phone on there without having to grip anything. And then right up there, we got the GoPro mount, which I am trying to upgrade my GoPro. So hopefully I'll be able to get that new GoPro 10 or GoPro 8 sometime soon and put it up there. And then over there, I've got the other uh, phone mount. That one is the G2, which has clamps. And I did it that way over there because not everyone's going to have a magnet-based phone. So anyone who's sitting in my driver's seat or uh, passenger seat can take advantage of that. And then right over here is that arm that goes to the iPad uh, holder, and that iPad holder is great. My son broke this. He stepped on it with his heel when he was younger, and it has since been broken and I haven't had a chance to fix it. I mean, as you can see, it's nothing crazy. I can just take my iPad off of here, and it's just that simple. Now, you'll see it's also pointed backwards because on the way up here, uh, my son wanted to watch a movie, so I was able to kind of just turn that and have it facing him so you can watch it and then when I'm ready to use it for the trails I can flip it back towards me. Now right up at the top I have that Molly panel solutions overhead Molly system. It's just allowed me to mount pretty much everything that I've needed up here. So just walking you through got that MXT 275 from Midland. It's a GMRS radio. What I really love about this is that all the controls are on the handheld itself. So when it's not in use I can just put this away and Basically, it leaves the unit turned off and it's not going to drain my battery. Got that up there and that snakes into the unit itself. And the unit is very discreet. You don't even have to put it up here. You can put it anywhere you want. I can put it in my glove compartment if I wanted to. But this just makes it easily accessible to me. There are no buttons or anything on there. So everything is just controlled by this. And then when this is not in use, all I got to do is just unplug this and then put this away somewhere. And also, if I wanted to remove this, this also has quick release buttons right here. I just press that in and I can slide this off and then unplug it from the back. That's basically why I wanted this radio because if I wanted to, I can take all of this off and hide it away somewhere and no one will see that there's a radio in here and want to try to steal it. When this handle's not being in use, then I just put it in one of these bags. I just stuff this all in here, zip it up, and now I know that it's not going to be draining my battery because a lot of times when you have a radio, you forget that you left it on and then now it's going to drain your battery and then you wake up the next day and it's dead. So there you go. Right behind that is the My Medic Solo Kit. This is not a comprehensive kit. It's just for quick grabs. So if I have a cut or if my son has a cut or we just need a band-aid really quick, I can just pull this out. Everything that I need is also reachable in there. On a quick fist, I've got the wireless remote for the winch. So if I needed it, all I gotta do is 
unhook this and then grab the wireless remote for the winch and also for the hook uh, the hook strap and then next to that is the Olight Warrior X Pro this thing is a beast this thing is super bright it's probably what I'm going to be using tonight but also as you can see a lot of self defense stuff on here if you really really needed to do some damage and that just goes right here on a quick fist as well which is look I mean I can do it with one hand easily enough this little insert here it just has a bunch of stuff just a rubber made cheap thing but I keep a journal in here for anytime we take trips or whatever I kind of like to write notes on where we were and what was some cool stuff that we saw there this is a Kershaw I don't really use this knife a lot but I like to have knives just kind of floating around everywhere so I got that and right over here is a tool to you know you hurt you, you get stuck or something and you need to break a window that's up there and it also has a seat belt cutter so in an emergency situation got that floated down there now over here my wife has a pair of uh, gooder sunglasses these are great for just throwing around because as you know we're always losing sunglasses when we're out and about especially hiking or camping overlanding sometimes these things will fall and then you lose them and if they're expensive you're gonna hate yourself these are only 25 bucks and yet they work really well because they're polarized and they're also made of silicone so super comfortable as well so that's just in there let's see if there's anything in the middle console that I can show that's not too personal got a mighty Hanks handkerchief mighty Hanks is awesome because on one side is a handkerchief but on the other side is a uh, a microfiber type of cloth this is good for cleaning out your glasses lenses got the spare keys for different things with a Leatherman squirt on there so don't really need another multi-tool but you know throw one in there anyway got an Olight this was free they sent this to me the Olight uh, when uh, the Olight 13 e EOS and so that's that if I need it extra stickers so when I run into people and they want a sticker I got some for them got this sack here and inside that sack is just like napkins and plastic you know, cutlery you know we have these floating around in our vehicles all the time and with napkins and all that type of stuff and I hated that it. it just kind of cluttered everything so I just threw, threw it in the sack so it makes it easier extra Tylenol Excedrin Benadryl all that stuff that I need I just kind of throw it in here and so if I need it I got that and then over here hand sanitizers lotions things like that because sometimes your hand gets dry or you need some hand sanitizer I got it all right there speaking of which I forgot to show this too I got a Magpul DACA pouch that has just extra masks you know a lot of times nowadays you need masks to go into places sometimes and so i just brought some extra masks in case someone forgets it or if i forget mine over here i got all my passes and cards that i might need i just put it in one of these trayvax um trayvax wallets but i have my all access pass to um different uh, national parks is in there then i got my maui gins which i love so much maui gins are so comfortable but these are the ones that if we're going to go kayaking or hiking i am not going to be wearing these because i have lost a pair of these before and i hated myself these are like 350 400 so you have to be really really careful about those but for driving oh the best now over on the passenger side i have this little molly panel on the visor uh nothing expensive this is super cheap got this on amazon for like 10 bucks but it does allow me to hold up this bag and this bag is basically just something that i can hold my pens in and then inside i have like uh, dental floss and just other kind of creature comforts that i need on hand in here i've got that quick grab toolkit that i did a video on everything that i need for a quick grab is all right there yeah so if you want to see a breakdown of everything that's in here go check my videos because i did a whole breakdown of everything that's in here maybe you can build one for yourself keep it in your glove compartment gives you access to a bunch of different tools and then another tool that i have in my glove compartment ducks <laughs> if i need to duck somebody then i've got ducks on hand i bought these at amazon they're ninja ducks man look at this like how awesome is this duck it's a ninja Ninjuk. That's what we should call it. Ninjucks. Up at the top, got all my patches. 
On one side are places that we have visited, and on the other side are my brand patches. So I got one from Gorilla Dirt, thank you to them. 67 Designs, thank you to them as well. Shout out to M-Town Yodas. I know this is a Jeep, but hey, I'm going to help represent their brand anyway. Got my baptism on there. I got one from Essie, and then I got one from Go Fast, Don't Die. And that pretty much takes care of the front of the vehicle, except for this fire extinguisher that I have mounted below the driver's seat. You guys saw me do an install of that as well. This is a DIY type of thing. If you want to know how I built that, go to my channel and you'll be able to see it. And then of course, WeatherTech floor mats. Every vehicle I've ever owned has WeatherTech floor mats in them. All right, moving on to the back, I've got this Molly panel backrest. We use this specifically for my son. So when we go on road trips and whatnot, we pretty much load some of these bags up with like pencils, pens. There's a pocket in here. We'll put coloring books or whatever he might want to have. So whenever we're on a road trip and he gets bored, he has a whole bunch of activities at his fingertips. We have this front runner soft pack that I've been telling people about. I like to have this here because we keep all of our snacks and food for camp here. So if he gets hungry, if he wants something to eat, he can just reach in and get it. Or if me or my wife want anything from the front, one of us can just reach back here and grab it as well. It just makes it so much easier. And when we get to camp, we just take this with us. But all of our food and stuff is there, which is also why I did that 40% delete and put the fridge in the back seat as well. Rather than having a fridge in the cargo area and then have to pull over to get stuff, Someone gets thirsty, someone gets hungry and everything's in the fridge, they can just reach over there and get it. I had these hooks put on here because I had a cargo net here, but the cargo net was just drooping so low, it was hitting my son in the head. So I just took the cargo, cargo net out and I decided to put these carabiners. These carabiners are great because what we do is we just hang our coats and things like that on there when we get to camp. So that just allows us to have a place for that. Yeah, back here, there's this bag. It's kind of discreet. It's just like right there, but it gives you access to a lot of stuff. So discreet that I forgot I had it in here. So when I open that, I've got the extension cord for my winch. That's what's in there. I've got some shackles that are way back there. Then I've got some ratchet straps down here. So all my ratchet straps just go in there, quick access when I need it. Now over on this side, I have another molly back type of panel. What I do with this though is, in the event that I needed to flee my vehicle, I can just unlatch this, take the whole thing out, fold it up, put it into a bag and go. So this is sort of my get home type of scenario as well. But at the same time, it also gives me access to the things that I need. So up at the top, I have the My Medic, My FAK. This is a much more comprehensive first aid kit than the one that is up there. So this one is more for, you know, crazy trauma. I have everything in there and that was provided to me by Treadless. So thank you for that. I've got a, uh, a packable towel in there. So in case we need a towel, got one right there. Got a pair of Magpul gloves in here so whenever i need to i need gloves we always need gloves like just earlier i was trying to help with firewood so we have to carry firewood around you don't want to get splinters so i just threw these gloves on i've got my se3 knife right there which i use for camp a lot i've got uh, my handheld uh, midland x talkers um, one of them is missing because my friend Ron is using it right now. We were I gave it to him because he doesn't have a radio in his vehicle, so I was able to hand him one so he can use that. And then next to that, some packable ponchos. If it starts to rain, I just I have a couple of them in here. Just take them out. So that's basically what's in this. So if I ever need anything, everything is accessible right there. And finally, moving on to the back, on the tailgate, I got this old tailgate table when i first got the jeep i bought this from amazon it's a cheapy and it's starting to really fall apart this is before i knew all about the uh buy once cry once philosophy i think i might just get rid of this and build my own now on that i have mounted a fisker's axe and a fisker's hatchet and then up here i've got some road lights these are awesome quick lights that you might just need to light something up and they come like at what 20 bucks for two of them and what's cool is they have magnets on the back and they also have a little hook so you can kind of just hang them up wherever you want and then there is my cabinet set that I created myself I did a DIY on that this has all my roadside stuff I did a breakdown on this already so I won't go into it too much 
underneath there are all my toolboxes and tool bags are all underneath this little thing that pops up and then over here got my work table got my jackery right there I've got some sport towels right here got a hammock right there then I've got three ammo boxes that are labeled so one says illumination one says repellent and then one says fire so you can pretty much guess what are in those and then in the back here I've got just another ammo box full of straps I've got a white extension cord in case we're going camping at a place that has electrical then I can just pull that out then I got a travel which you should know what that's for but yeah oh also I've got this bag in here that has like games so there's like a pack of cards in there matter of fact Chris was asking for this so hold on Whoa, nice catch, bro. Over here at the corner is that Rotopax. Before, I used to have to remove this Rotopax anytime I wanted to fill water. But ever since then, I added this Go Westy attachment. So now if I need water, I just turn this upside down, flick that little switch, and water will start pouring out. Best thing ever that was actually told to me by Chris Chubb, who's sitting over there. But... He told me to get this thing and now it's been the best because I basically have access to the water without having to remove that whole thing. Got a little switch over here. When I turn this on, this just allows me to power up these. So I got one for just your regular 12 volt socket and I usually will charge my Jackery through that when we're moving around. And then over here, USB. So if I need to charge phones, uh, camera batteries, all that's right there. So I got that. And then on this side, there's a switch that I attach to this light bar here. So at night, I could just flick that on and that'll turn on. Forgot to mention, right down here below the fridge, I got that power distribution block that I built a while ago. And why I have it out is it helps me to manage all the wires without me having to dig in anywhere. This is actually wired directly straight to the battery and what's cool about it is i have everything pretty much labeled so over here i've got the overhead light which is on the tailgate here's the accessory and all of that is those usb ports that i showed you in the back got a refrigerator over here and then at the top this one goes straight to the um the gmrs radio so that powers that and then this one is goes to the another 12 volt socket which there's a 12 volt socket right there that used to be for the fridge right so i used to have all my, my fridge plugged into that but now it's it's empty because i decided to get the arb plug which coincidentally fits in the ice co fridge really really well but why i got the arb plug is because this thing screws in so if you're out on the trail that just won't pop out on you and now your fridge is not powered up at all so you just buy this whole unit it's from arb plugs right into the back of the ice co fridge it allows you to screw it into their 12 volt socket and then now you're basically secure in your fridge plug-in and that is pretty much my interior completed and I am done nothing else left to do to the inside Sawyer, what you doing? Show up. I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ride this. I'm gonna take my son. Go real slow, cause it's you know it's his first time, and you know I'm not trying to make it dangerous, but I'm gonna try it out. I've never ridden one of these. I'm gonna see if I like it. I ride bikes, I ride motorcycles, let's see how I do on one of these.
So the cool thing about this property that my friend owns is that there's all these little nooks and crannies everywhere. And when I woke up this morning, there was fog. And so I was like, oh, we gotta take some pictures of the Jeep. So we are here, got the Jeep all set up. Right there, we'll take some really cool photos. We're packed up, ready to go, about to head home. One quick day, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, also consider uh, following us on Patreon so we can continue to make more content like this, and as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Baptism Overland. My name is Asia Sampson, and I will see you next time. Quit talking was, with your hands. I was so trying to conjure a fart. Oh my god. <laughs> I was scared poo poo might come out. You might get some bubbles. <laughs>